Hi, my name is Annalie Portman and this lesson is about the practicalities of the course in Finnish political culture and system. We will walk together and look at how you can best do this course. First of all, the course structure is the following. There are 10 lessons and they consist of videos which give basic overview of the subjects, sets of slides, so written slides where you can actually read what was said and study in greater detail. And there is additional material for those who are involved with a credit earning course. Maximum credits you can earn are five. And in order to earn those, there are articles you will need to read, multiple choice exams you will need to take, discussion topics where you will be involved in discussing matters with other students, essay topics and you will write an essay and there are also there's also the possibility to ask questions from the lecturer the course topics are the following we will look at Finnish culture value and political values how they interact with the structures and what they mean and what is at the core of how the society ticks We'll look at voting, the principles of voting and who gets to vote and where and when and why. We'll look at political parties, what makes them different from one another. And the parliament, how does it work? How does it control the government or does it? How does it decide for the state budget? We will look at what the government does, what, what is in within the competence of the government. And we will take a closer look at the role and the duties of the president and the values that are behind the execution of those duties. We'll also look at social capital and the welfare state, what they look from the Finnish perspective. And we will look at foreign policy, Finnish foreign policy and peace mediation. And lastly, we'll also take a look at the management of diversity, especially the minorities in Finland. This online course uh, will be open on February the 2nd, 2016. And you can watch the videos anytime after that. But in order to do the actual course, you need to register. And then here are how many credits you can get and what it requires. The course can be completed as either one credit course, three credits course, or five credits course. For one credit, there are 10 video lectures, multiple choice exams, and some course literature. For three credits, apart from the above mentioned, you will also participate in online discussions. Whereas for the five credits from completing the other things, you will still have the chance of writing an essay of your own choice. The evaluation of the course uses the standard scale of zero to five. How do you earn then these university credits? What you need to do is you need to sign up for the course and you see the web address here. And in case you want the course credits to be registered for the University of Helsinki, you should also pay a modest student fee of 15 euros. This course is free for undergraduate students and exchange students of the University of Helsinki who are enlisted as attending students at the moment of registration. This fee is otherwise payable upon registration through an online bank transfer. The organizer of this course is the Uni Open University of the University of Helsinki together with the uh, Faculty of Social Sciences. Here you can see should you need any help, the uh, address of the student services, examination service, and the student guidance number as well. Don't hesitate to contact. Now it's your time to think. What do you want from this course? What are your aims and your goals? Come and join us and get to the depth of what makes Finland tick.